Welcome to Grumbacher's Video Art Informational Series. I'm Ken Richards and today we will discuss artist brushes. Let's start with brush construction. There are three basic parts to an artist brush. The hair or bristle, the ferrule, which holds the hair or bristle, and the handle. Handles are generally made of a hardwood such as beech, maple, or birch. Hardwoods are used because brushes are often soaked in solvent or water and hardwoods do not absorb the liquids. Softer, more absorbent woods would absorb liquids, causing the handle to expand and then contract when dried, thus running the risk of loosening the ferrule. There are some brushes with handles made of plastic and some specialty brushes made with bamboo and other materials. The ferrules of good quality artist brushes are generally made with nickel-plated brass or gold-plated brass. Interestingly, in centuries past, ferrules were made out of copper. However, copper corrodes and is also a soft metal, often resulting in the loosening of the ferrule. We have since moved to the plated brass. Good quality brushes have their ferrules both glued and double or triple crimped to the handle. Inferior brushes have soft aluminum ferrules and should be avoided. There are basically two kinds of brushes used by artists. Ones having short handles and others with long handles. Short handled brushes are used mainly by watercolorists, illustrators, and other artists who work at drawing boards or desks where the artwork is held in a semi-prone or horizontal position. When you rest your hand on the surface, the short handle of the brush gives a certain balance and ease of handling when used on artwork done in this position. Long handled brushes are designed for use in easel painting and for murals, that is for artwork that is worked on in a vertical position such as most oil and acrylic painting. The balance provided by the long handle not only gives the artist positive control over the brush, it keeps the hand from getting tired during painting sessions by allowing range of motion. If a short handled brush were to be used while painting at an easel, one's hand would soon become too tired to paint. Now on to the most important part of a brush, the hair or bristle. The main difference between hair and bristle is stiffness. Bristle is considerably more stiff than hair. Both hair and bristle can either be made of natural or synthetic material. The most common natural hairs include pony, goat, and ox ear, often referred to as sabaline, mongoose, squirrel, and a group of natural hairs referred to in the vernacular as sable and kolinsky. Sable is given to a variety of hair from different species of animals in the weasel family. True Kolinsky hair comes from the tail of a male of a specific species of weasel, the Mustela siberica, indigenous to northeastern Russia. Kolinsky hair is primarily used for watercolor brushes and the hair is worth more per ounce than gold. The most common natural bristle used today is hog bristle. The highest quality hog bristle brush is an interlocked 5 to 7 beat Chungking hog bristle. If you look closely at quality hog bristles, you will see what is called natural flags. Think of flags as hog bristle split ends. These flags help interlock the individual bristles to each other. The term interlocked refers to the structure of the brush. Half the bristles are slightly curved to the center of the brush going in this direction, and the other half curved in the opposite direction towards the center of the brush. This structure helps keep a clean, crisp edge when painting and helps retain the shape of the brush. Five to seven beat refers to the number of times the bristles are washed, eliminating impurities, and adds bristle integrity. You may hear the term Chungking hog, which refers to an area in China where a specific hog is prized for its bristle. Today, it refers to high quality hog bristle. Hog bristle should not be used for water miscible oils, watercolors or acrylics because if overexposed to water the bristle will bloat and the brush will lose its shape. Synthetic hairs and bristles are made from nylon filaments. Less expensive synthetic brushes generally have only a single kind or diameter of filament. Using multiple diameter filaments the brush maker can achieve a variety of levels of stiffness or snap in the brush. The more large diameter filaments added the stiffer the brush. Multiple diameter filaments in a brush will be more expensive. 
Please note that there are different quality nylon filaments. Some manufacturers have inconsistent diameters of single filaments preventing the brush maker from achieving the desired consistent stiffness or spring. Brushes can also be blends of natural and synthetic hairs or bristles. To learn more about Grumbacher brushes, visit Grumbacher.com.